we have we had a little bit of a tent city going on, right? Yeah. City came in right. and shut her down, right? Yeah. Okay. So and they did it with uh, some other agencies, the Lookout Society, and, and and they wanted to fast track people to health and services. They, um, I actually found out about it um, two day or the day of it happening that morning. Um, I was at this. Uh, it's called the, where is it? Uh, I'll write it down again. It's called the Wally um, Community Improvement Association. And at that table was the entire uh, like RCMP team and the Lookout Society team. And they were putting it all together, how they were going to do it with going there with compassion and caring for the people that were at the end of the street here, right? You know, it was about 14 tents, right? Yeah. So anyways, I found out, I go, oh, okay, great. So anyway, so then they shut that down, and then um, I got a uh, memo this morning um, that they have a crime report, okay? And, they, you know, they're, they're community stakeholders. They have concerns about crime in the neighborhood, and it goes with everything else that goes on, right? So if you were to only look at a problem, okay, so here's your problem. And here's, uh, I don't know, here's the, we'll say RCMP. Okay? And, they, and this is the problem. Or any problem for that matter. And let's just not pick on the RCMP, right? Okay, so they see it from this scope. And this is all they can see. They see criminal activity. They see, uh, you know, incarceration. They see... Uh, observing, they see uh, sting operations, they see all sorts of things. Now you have, I don't know, you have um, the city of Surrey. Okay, and they're over here. Okay, and they look at it as um, from this from this aspect. Okay, and they see it from here, and they see what they see uh, uh, homeless people. Are, are businesses complaining to the city about homeless people in their uh, doorway of their business in the morning and customers can't come and spend their money because somebody's sleeping there, right? And then you see, the, oh, this is the good one. <laughs> Probably gonna highlight these guys. What's your point? These guys are the Bylaw? ones who don't know the most. Bylaw? Yeah, well, no, we'll leave them in. Let's go into, uh, uh, <laughs> Mayor and Council. Okay, so you have the politicians, right? These guys hold the purse strings to the cash for the funding that could possibly shrink this thing down a little, right? Okay, and they see it from this aspect. Okay. Remember, I didn't go to art school, so... Got to keep that in mind, kids. Okay, so. All right. All right, so. And then uh, you want what? Bylaw? Yeah. Okay, bylaw. And they see the problem from here to here. Everybody has a perspective, everybody has a view. Okay, it's individualistic. They don't have like a holistic approach. They don't have nobody. No, no one of these entities have um, a full understanding of what goes on here. They just don't. And then you have, then you have. But if they do, they can't. Their hands are tied too. Sure, they are. They They're tied. So bylaws uh, tied by the city. He's yeah. tied by the mayor. And, and the RCMP are tied by federal law. Right. Everybody's handcuffed by somebody, right? Yeah, yeah. So there's no real freedom of movement, okay. right? So where does it have to start, right? So, so we have to we have to make sure that okay. So in in school, when you're a kid, no one sign. I want to be a doctor. I want to be a lawyer. I want to be a you know sports car driver. No one sign up. Say, hey man, I want to be homeless, or I want to be you know uh, a chronic drug user. Right? Or, you know, or, you know what I mean? Like, so what happens is, so we would best know a solution 
to the to the any our matters mm -hmm. because we sat there and thought about it and thought about it and thought about it and thought about it and we tried to get out of these but there's barriers so how about this every time you turn around you know bylaw shows up in the morning and throws your shit in the truck right mm -hmm. barrier number one right they take down the tent C, so you have shelter. They take that down. So then, by the way, the next, uh, the, the crime report order, somebody was, uh, the stairway to the back side of the wall, the, the Wally Legion at the end of the street here, started a fire because they had a tarp and probably a, a tank, fell asleep, trying to keep warm. Next thing you know, a fire starts, they run because they're scared, and the back side of the Wally Legion is burnt, and they're pissed. You know, so... So what happens is either a you got a arson in the neighborhood, or what happens is that it's a it's a, called a systemic problem or a system problem, right? A social problem where, hey, if you wouldn't have these places burning to the ground if you had them in housing in the first place, right? So you know, and we all agreed, or the, one of the top priority things that we all sort of needed was a place where you could put your head down at night, right? Somewhere you get a you know a meal, right? And some place that you can lock the door and leave your stuff. That you don't have to carry your entire world and what you see on the table behind you. But, so okay, so you have all, so here's here's us. Well, I'm not saying that. Here's, you know, here here's where we're at. So if we went Sansu, and we went and talked to the city of Surrey, and we went and talked to this entity, we went to talk to bylaw, and we went to talk to uh, I don't know uh, Surrey. Oh oh yeah, oh, Surrey cry. Uh, Crime. Uh, Surrey crime stoppers. Surrey crime prevention and uh, the Surrey the Surrey Arts Housing and Homeless Initiative, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what is that? What are society. Okay, and we went and talked to the RCMP, and we went and talked to Mayor and. and uh, City Council, we went and talked to Fraser Health Authority. Who, what else was there? Who else was there? Someone said somebody else. What was it? Okay, so we went from here and we go out. Okay. So if we went and started engaging the community, then guess what? They have to engage us. They engage us as a group as we sit here right now. Okay, so you see where we're going to start doing this? We're going to work from us. And we're going to break down these barriers Dale. together, all right? We're going to start making sure Dale. that they're going to listen to us. But at the same time, please, it's a community problem. We have to take responsibility too. We have to come to the table. We have to make sure that, you know, we can't just throw it out and say there's an us and a them. We have to start thinking in the lines that there's a we, okay? We can do this. Right? Or we're not, we, we are just sitting in this room. There's lots of we. That's no longer an I. And so you see our voices getting stronger, right? <laughs> but I'm here to make sure that everybody is heard, please.